So I was on vacation last week and while I was there, I was using a lot of my heavier fragrances and I thought to myself, I was like, there's a lot of fragrances in my collection. While they are the heavier fragrances, they don't push out as much. And so in this video, I wanted to let you guys know five heavy hitting fragrances from my collections that are designers that will really push out to get you noticed if that's what you're looking for. And so without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> What's up my great smelling dudes? This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, again, if you, you probably don't know, if you do know, then you are a really good subscriber. I was on vacation last week at Oktoberfest up in the mountains, and I had a lot of my heavy hitting fragrances, a lot of discontinues, but not talking about discontinued fragrances anymore because that discontinued week is over. I had Pure Avon, I had One Million Privé, all that good stuff, and I was talking to my wife, one of the days and she said you have a lot of fragrances that i can smell across the room and then you have a lot of fragrances that are really close to you where i can't smell them at all some of them smell better than the ones that push out blah 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 i said that's the point of my channel i tell people how things perform how they smell if they smell great but don't perform very well are they still worth getting because they smell that great or if they're just middle of the row and road when it comes to the smell but their performance is amazing are they worth picking up because of that um so i decided to create a video here of five designer fragrances that are not discontinued from my collection that are going to project either beast mode or just below it and are going to get you noticed and so if you're one of those people this is going to be the video for you uh, if you like the ones that if you like people to notice you um, before I get into the video as always like comment subscribe share hit the bell if all of that stuff and if you do like my videos consider following me on TikTok and Instagram I'll put it up on the screen obviously and I'm gonna get straight into it here with one that I actually haven't talked about on a full video yet I don't believe this is by Mercedes-Benz it is Mercedes-Benz Club Black so this one really shocked me. I wasn't sure because I've had a bunch of car fragrances um, here and there, like one here, one there, one here, and I've never been a huge fan of any of them. I don't think there's a single car fragrance that I bought that I use in my full collection anymore. Um, but again, I'm not too deep into it. This was the first one when I got it. I was skeptical, but I now I absolutely freaking love this fragrance. Um, the first time I wore it, I thought it was more of a closer to the skin scent, but the more I wear it, my wife can sense it across the room. So again, Mercedes-Benz Club Black, I will give you the main notes of it. The main notes are bergamot, incense, vanilla, and benzoin. There's also ambroxan and woods as they're floating through the fragrance, but the main part of this fragrance is going to be that vanilla. It is a vanilla-based scent through and through. You get this like fizzy effervescence from the ambroxan, as well as a little bit of a woodiness in the base. You do get some like slightly smokiness from the incense that kind of comes off as like a smoky spice. And again, it's more in the background. And then in the opening for the first like 10 to 15 minutes, you get a bit of a freshness mixed in there. It never comes off citrusy. It's that bergamot mixing together with the vanilla that really comes off just like a sweet freshness. And the whole fragrance through and through is just a very nice, especially after about two hours, it's a really nice cuddling fragrance because of that nice vanilla. It's very soothing and calming. But in the first like two, two and a half hours, the fragrance is freaking amazingly projected across the room. The sillage in it is nuts. Um, and again, I didn't think so the first time or two that I sprayed it. Um, because to me, I couldn't smell it like around me. Um, it's weird to say, but it projects really nicely to where my mom, my, my, uh, my mom, um, my wife can smell it. My daughter can smell it. My daughter was in a room and said, what does that smell? I said, that smells good. And I was like, it's this. And so I didn't even realize because I couldn't smell it myself. It's one of those that everybody around you smells it, but you can't necessarily. So Mercedes-Benz Club Black. It's going to be probably a two to three sprayer, maybe three to four sprayer at max, depending on where you're going. If you're going out during the fall and winter, which it is a fall and winter fragrance, I can see myself wearing this in the spring where I live as well. Um, but if you like vanilla, 
if you like it's a really nice vanilla too the um texture here the um i can't even think of the word but the quality the quality of the vanilla in this is actually really nice i would pay probably a hundred dollars for this fragrance apparently it was like thirty dollars for a long time and then people caught wind of it and now it's like 50 60. but mercedes-benz club black fantastic fragrance i definitely recommend you getting your nose on it really nice projector if you're looking for a vanilla fragrance that really does get out there for people to notice you the next one i'm still unsure if i love the fragrance or not um, but it is probably the best performer in the line if not the other ones intensely it's not it's close but anyway this is brand new by Emporio Armani it is stronger with you oud and so stronger with you oud the main notes that you get in it are oud vanilla and lavender there's a lot more going on in it and that's the only notes that they give you if picture this is the way that I can put it take the stronger with you intensely take out the toffee add in the chestnut from the other two and make that as the base of the fragrance and then add in that oud and lavender and vanilla on top of it and that's what you get with this uh, again i don't know how i feel about it because it has this i don't like boss bottled oud at all i don't like designer oud that much it just comes across to me just not very good it's like a spicy oriental eh. and boss bottled oud does it to 100. this one the reason i'm not sure if i like it is because Compared to Boss Bottled Oud, the woodiness is just not as heavy. Uh, in the opening, the woodiness comes across very nice. Again, it's sweet, it's oriental. Um, and then you mix that together with that Stronger With You DNA, that vanilla, that amber, that chestnut. Uh, the chestnut is definitely visible there, but further down, uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes in, you can definitely notice it's there. Um, the opening is very, very nice in this fragrance, and don't get scared by the wood, oh, the word, the wood, <laughs> the word oud. It is more of like just a woodiness, like a spicy woodiness. It's not what you would think of oud. It's not animalic. It's not fecal. It's not like dank. Uh, the one part of this fragrance I'm not sure about is the dry down. The dry down is kind of just like a very um basic in my head version of the stronger with you dna is nothing out of the box but with that said the stronger with you dna is very nice and so that's why i still i think i overhyped this in my head and people were overhyping it uh, i think it's a good fragrance and it's still growing on me but with that said i'm talking about the performance and it being beast mode and it is that line is pretty much beast mode in itself uh intensely was the strongest but i have to say at least for the first like hour and a half to two hours this one is probably on par with intensely if not a little bit higher than that so i would definitely try this out if you like woodiness if you like the strong with you line if you want to try something a little bit new especially for that opening strong with you oud is definitely where it's at going into the third one this is also a new release as of April of this year and one of my favorite fragrances of all time, as you guys know. I love the line, especially the last three fragrances they released. By Zaro, this is the Most Wanted Parfum. So the Most Wanted Parfum, no surprise, I finally brought it back. I didn't really talk about it since when? April? I talked about it on three different videos and then I haven't talked about it. I bit my tongue and I didn't talk about it. I did wear it a few times, but... I didn't talk about it and now I am uh, so most wanted parfum is my either that or the most wanted or wanted by night they're all really good uh, this is more of the fall and winter version of the most wanted even though the most wanted can be worn all year round and focused on the fall this one is heavier deeper warmer uh, so the main notes you get in most wanted parfum are ginger woods and bourbon vanilla it's a woody sweet spicy fragrance in the opening, you do get vibes of the original Most Wanted. It's definitely in there. Um, it's not as gourmand. Uh, that ginger is definitely present throughout the entire fragrance. It's heavier in the opening. It gives it more of like this sweet snap mixed with that, uh, this like resinous deepness that you get from this like amber wood or something like that. And it comes through. It's sweet. It's resinous, almost syrupy. It has a little bit of those gourmand facets from the original one, but it's heavier. And then the dry down after about a half hour is beautiful. The bourbon vanilla mixed with that ginger on your skin 
just comes through and that's where it really does change paths from the original most wanted it comes through and it's just almost a tale of two fragrances just like a lot of the ones here it is going to be sweet it's going to be mature it's going to be just if, if you like sweet fragrances but you don't like the overly cloyingly sweet ones if you like ginger if you like bourbon vanilla you're definitely going to like this um it's just it's beautiful overall uh, i think that for the fall this is probably my favorite in the line even though wanted by night it's hard to say that i just like this it's sweeter i it's hard for me to say that because i love all three but with that said my wife loves this fragrance um and we're talking about the performance this lasts about 10 to 12 hours and it lasts even way longer on clothes um, and it does project very nicely for the first like two to three hours. It's for a parfum because it is the parfum. A lot of parfums this year don't project well. This one does project well for the first three hours. It's well above average. And I would just say that you should definitely pick it up. Um, it's still at retail right now, but I would pick it up at retail. It's really that good. So strong with you parfum, definitely worth the price. Going into number three, or number four, sorry. Um, this one's not going to be a surprise to anybody. The last one's going to be a surprise because I haven't mentioned it on my channel yet. Um, but this one is by Victor and Rolf. It is Spice Bomb Infrared. So some people I've heard say the projection and performance on this is terrible. What the hell are you smoking? Because this fragrance, of all the ones in the line, it projects the best. It lasts pretty much on par with extreme i would say like six seven hours but with that said for the first like three hours it's a room filler i mean it literally if you spray it three four times it's filling the room and yes this one right here savage elixir that one's going to project higher and i could have put that in here but i wanted to keep this kind of in the sweet realm um and savage elixir is going to be a really good projector too um but with that said this one it's cinnamon uh, I'll, I'll give you the, no, uh, the notes from it. The main notes in the Spice Bomb Infrared are tobacco, cinnamon, red fruits, and benzoin. So I've said this a million times, it's a cinnamon and benzoin bomb. Um, so benzoin's like a sweet resinous, almost like vanilla. Mix that together. It doesn't smell like vanilla. It's kind of almost like an ambery vanilla. Um, mix that all together with tobacco, with some uh, well, with a lot of cinnamon, a little bit of red fruits, a little bit of red pepper. You get some other things floating through there, but those are the main things you need to know. Really spicy in the opening. It's almost like a, a nice, fragrant, big red in the opening, only for a short bit. And then it's like a tail of two fragrances where it turns into like this spicy vanilla creaminess with a little bit of tobacco mixed in. It's my favorite in the line, uh, by far. I'm Spice Bomb Infrared, if you haven't picked up a bottle, it's a room filler for the first two, three hours. Fantastic fragrance. And it's liked by almost all ages, so you should definitely go pick that up. Moving into the number five one on my list, it's one, again, I haven't talked about on my channel. And if I did, it was a decant. Um, this is a exclusive edition that is only sold every once in a while on discounters. You'll find it by Dolce & Gabbana. It is the One Luminous Night. Beautiful blue bottle with the gold cap. It's an amber woody fragrance, and the main notes that you get in it are dates, amber, incense, and sandalwood. And then you also do get some bergamot and black pepper in there. The bergamot gives it a little bit of freshness in the opening, not citrus at all. Um, and really, it's redundant of a note. The black pepper does float throughout the entire fragrance, giving it a little bit of a spice. Uh, but the main things you really need to know from Luminous Night are the amber and the dates as well as a little bit of a woodiness in the dry down and some smoke from that incense. That is really just a supporting note as the smoke is underneath there. But the amber in this is niche quality. It's like on par with Grand Soir, stuff like that. Very beautiful. It's deep, it's dark, it's heavy. It's the heaviest from the Dolce & Gabbana The One line. So if you've tried any of them and you think they're heavy, syrupy, dense, this is pretty much going to top that times five um it's hard to get your nose on it first at first because of how heavy it is um so you get that amber in there it starts in the beginning and it goes all the way to the end uh you get some of those dates in there the dates really come across as like a unique dark fruitiness that gives a little bit of a sweetness to it and a bit of a unique facet then you get that really beautiful amber 
You get some incense that gives it that smoke and spice underneath from that black pepper as well. And then you get some sandalwood when you get to the dry down. That gives it a little bit of like, and you get some patchouli in there as well. But that's further down the road with the sandalwood. It gives a little bit of like a creamy, woody base. Outside of that, the fragrance is, again, it's amber and dates if you just want to simplify it. That's the easiest way to simplify it. If you like the heavy, dark, deep ambers that are dense, then you'll like this. Um, it's that kind of like Middle Eastern, very beautiful amber. Very, very, very nice. Uh, it's for the ones that are eclectic, but they don't want to go too far into the niche. This is kind of like bridging the gap between normal designer amber and niche amber. It's in between, so if you don't want to go too far up that route, then here's a really nice, unique version, and it has a beautiful setup as well. So, and again, it's an exclusive edition, so if you buy it and you don't like it, you can always resell it for a really nice price. So again, that is Dolce & Gabbana, The One Luminous Night, and it projects very, very, very nicely. It's deep, dark, warm, and everything like that, but it projects well above average for the first three to four hours. It lasts on your skin for at least 10, and on your clothes for about 12 to 14. Very, very nice fragrance, and I would recommend it to pretty much anybody who's looking for something unique that has amber, sweetness, that date, all that stuff. But yeah, let me know any of the other ones that, I mean, this isn't my top five. Uh, some of these could be in there. I just wanted to give you five. If you're looking for something to get people to notice you, these ones will all do that, and I can guarantee you that for sure. There's a quite a nice mix. There's the Calming Vanilla. There's the Oud Wood. There's the Unique Amber Dates. There's the very versatile um, Fall and Winter Fragrance with a little bit more of a deepness from the Most Wanted to the Most Wanted Parfum. And then you have your Christmas tree in a bottle, which is Spice Balm Infrared. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think about these in the comments, and I'll be back with another video. Thanks so much. Peace.